Hello everyone, this is Nancy. Welcome back to our live tutorials. Hope everyone have a great Friday. Just want to show you quick what we got last night. Thank you so much everyone for uh, stopping by. This was the Designs Beautiful what last night we did with fusioning chanfer foy and a butterfly stickers and this one is the easter uh, sticker and crystal placements and this is the glitter encapsulating and this is the uh, weaver gel with uh, spider gels with neon crystals and uh, easter bunny stickers and this one is Chan for four number 16 and I think we missed one of that not this one can you give me a whole entire collection over there which one is that was last oh diamond dust pixie we have diamond dust pixie yesterday so today we're gonna go back and another four nails fun to do today Give me one second. I am going to shang it quick. Here's this one. Gum dust pixie. So if you anyone have any questions, feel free to DM us. Hey J baby. Hey Stephanie. Hi Don. I love nails. Tama. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Eddie MP nails. No, unfortunately, actually, we don't using Swarovski crystal. We are using Glitz crystals. In this video. Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. It's two coat of the gel polish. If you do liquid can powder or dipping powder, you can use that the same techniques as well. So I am going to using no life as you just tune in. I'm just in as well. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick one of this. This is really cool though. Is um, weaver strips. Yeah, I should do. I like that. I like the gold look. And you know what? I'm gonna using this one. The whole strip, something in like similar. To weaver gel, but it's not the weaver gel, but pre adhesive, really simple, easy, quick to apply on. We did weaver gel yesterday, I just want to show you something is really cool and stunning. I'm gonna put some crystal in there, that's why. Hi, Sarah. Was Sarah on? Hey, Sarah, how are you? Uh, can you pinch on this one? Pin 11. It's not pin? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Okay, great. So it's just so easy. I'm using quite a few of them out from here. It's come with like all different colors, which is um, silver, 
rose gold and gold so i think all the package have the black one too but then today we want to do a theme of spring so i want to use something is a little bit different so i got this one great so next i am going to using condensed wool gel because i am going to using some crystal placement my condensed wool gel it lasts so long is i use them almost all to the end of it tin tip brush I'm going to apply uh, and tie the nails. And it's so thick density, so when you're using it, don't have a chance to blend it out really nicely. top coat this technique is a no wipe top coat on the top of and here condensed blue gel will help grip the crystals base and it keep it up to like good three to six week floating on the top Thicker. I really want that pink. I kept doing diagonals like this because. It looks so cute using pink and yellow. This is a gloss in the dark though. How are you, Sarah? Sarah did beautiful uh, nails earlier. With she did the live video with Chang. It's really stunning with um, uh, butterfly stickers and uh, Chan for Foy was different cool designs. If you happen to get Chan to follow with her. Um, make sure you do so because she's saying sharing is so much ideas with how you can achieve easy simple look for the nails I should use a rose gold beads instead of um, can I get the rose gold bead? Who oh, knows that I need the rose gold beads? I got that one on my tray right here. Thank you. And tip and tricks, I'm gonna dress it up with a little bit more because you haven't seen me do any of a, a rose gold beads at all. It's really stunning because the strip, it has the rose gold, so I'm gonna do the rose gold. So tip and trick using my tin tip brush. It's really stunning though. It's watching, seeing Sarah doing it as well. It just really, you can pick up so many beads at the same time. I 
did in purpose of all of this crystal a little bit kind of stay apart I'm gonna adjusting them and adjusting them to make them really close tight together because we have a lot of questions like you're asking us how can we able to keep the crystal staying on what type of glue gel are we using to keep the crystal stay in nice place and what is the best way to place a crystal you see us doing a lot of um, crystal placement from a different exquisite shape and now you get to see in like a freestyle also in like it's freestyle but in a theme I kind of like it I'm not worried about it's gonna come up, it's gonna stay because with the condensed glue gels and um, no white top coat. It's keep my crystal, my beads, my charm and tree uh, and uh, even a sticker encapsulating glitter, charm, chains and all of metal um, accessory will stay and it'll last so long. Okay, now I'm using on the other end, precision end of crystal pickers. Well, I really actually like it though. Kind of randomly, you don't have to necessarily in where you want to play your beats. Okay, I'm going to pick ones over there. I get some residue from my glue gel so you can see I can pick this one up only use it with the beads only okay don't try to pick that with the crystal because you're gonna have the residues of glue gels it's gonna might touching on the top of your crystal which is you don't want it really fun though if you're happy with this and we're gonna cure this under the LED lamp for about 60 seconds one more here I think it's one more here great under the LED lamps for about 60 seconds Hey Tracy, how are you? Nails Primal, hello, how are you? Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. I is inspired from Sarah and Vicky a lot and Brad too. It's really stunning because we're always doing different gold and then Sarah we're doing a different like silver and obsidian this bead is powerful this bead is make it looks make things look so much better and easier like more jewelry hey leslie thank you live ras yes marie hello thank you so much queen sb nails hey sweetie how are you tell my bands hello tracy nail primal nene shakoya Love yes. Hey, thanks so much everyone for tuning in today. Hope you all have a great Friday. Hi Sony. Hey Dajo Digis, how are you? Great. So now it actually feel really good though, but 
I am going to using a precision glue to really double secure it. Um, I think I left it. So I'm going to using precision glue here. Don't lose this red cap. And I'm using this end, which is the needle end. And I'm doing a little exam first. This is feels so good. It feels so satisfied because when you have all the beads and the crystal like this, it's so awesome to seal them completely. With the beads, if you are accidentally get on the top of it and cover that, co cover all of them, it's totally fine. But try not to get into your on the top of your crystal as it's gonna ruin and cover all the shines and the cuts from the crystals. If you going over the beads, totally fine. Or the charm or chains, not in uh, on the top of crystal. So I'm gonna be, be careful, make sure I get all the edges. And using my twin tip brush again, this is on the side I'm using the other side. You seeing it earlier when I using pick up my condensable gel, I using the other end, which is the gel brush end, and this one is the detail brush. And what I doing it right now, just blending all the extra, uh, the extra condensed uh, precision glue. So then when we keying them, they will look nice and flawless without look lumpy bumpy. Great. Key under the LED lamp for about 60 seconds. It's now going to be completely done. Make sure you close the cap because you don't want them to be to spill. Just show it to you on the other end. You can use this little brush, really precision brush, to apply some of uh, smaller size of crystal SS3, SS4, SS6. Awesome. I really want to do maybe I should do the rose you want to see the rose sugar rings the pink rose sugar ring this nose is completely done I want to show off to everyone I love this freaking like uh, weaver strips that have rose go go and uh, silver so whatever strip that you're using like say for instance if you're using a black strip you can use obsidian beads you know or like this one even if you're using this strip the colors in obsidian you can use obsidian beads and if you are using the silver strip you have um, silver beads where my silver beads tray go? Oh, right here. <coughs> you can see my silver bead tray. I have it here. Silver bead tray and if you are using the gold, rose gold like I have right here, then you can using a rose gold beads. So it's really stunning however you would like. And there's the gold one too. I left my gold one on other um, package pouch of my workplace. So let's move on to the next one, everyone. I can do the really cute roses on um, probably in this cute one. Let's do some painting. I'm going to using a gel painting, Pinky Pink. <laughs> I'm going 
going to using with Toon Tip Brush. And this is the other end, which is the same end that I did Coriching's to remove all the gels and first before I start I am going to using a no white top coat to cover completely because I'm gonna put sugar rings over it You know what, if you want to do a matte top coat, you can. I think a matte top coat will look so stunning as well. All right, keep for 60 seconds. What color is that on your nail so spot? This colors, you mean this color? Hi Simon's nails. How do you get the practice nails on the stick? Uh, this practice nails is pre uh have it pre sticks on it. So already have a sticks on it, sweetie. And then I'm gonna show you that's really cool stunning in just a little bit how I put them all that practice nails on the doorknob. I show it in a lot of uh, video, but I will show it again. So this one is already have the sticks on. So you can shape it if you're more narrow or you can cut it to make it uh, coffin shape, however you would like it. And you can uh, put it together with uh, draw knob to keep it um, organized. This one is dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and using this pinky pink this one I'm doing a sugar ring just draw it using a twin tip brush and really detail It's too dark in here though. Sure. I can't see it. Let me get another light. Bring it up. Is it better? Mm-hmm. This pigment is so pigmented. And So easy to paint everyone. Make sure Instagram can see it too. Doing the second one. This the second flowers will be smaller. This really cool, easy, simple, stunning design that you lady can do.
basically you're just drawing really a circle of um, the pattern is so simple this is one of the simple way to the third flowers same technique you're gonna do the dot right in the middle and you can draw it like two of this like a um, half moon If you want to complete me with more, you can't. I would do um, make it like a whole nails, like a rose. Or if you don't want, you can put the butterflies on this one. It looks so stunning as well. Great, if you're happy with this, what we need to do now, if you are doing a pigment, that's the best time you keep for 30 seconds and you can add the pigments however colors you would like to. But because this time we are going to put some sugars on it, so I'm going to using um, the sugarings and uh, sprinkle it in. I'm not using this is pinky pink. I'm gonna make sure I'm wipe this one off. And the colors I am going to use this today is the sugaring that um, extremely fine sugaring. I'm using it on this tray. Can I get the scoop, please? I have a pink, though. 
Should I do the pink? I can do the pinks also. Should I use the pink or should I do the white one? Usually, which one you want to see? White or the pink? Maybe the pink one is good. Can you open the pink one? Let me try both. Interesting. I'm gonna make it really interesting. I haven't cured anything yet, okay? This is the best time for you to sprinkle it if you want to do sugaring. But if you don't want sugaring, you want neon, you make sure you cure 30 seconds first and you rub the neons on. Mm, looks stunning. You got another tray, please. Let me try this. The penis looks good. Usually I sprinkle at least four times to make sure that all of my sugar rings is absorbing it to it. Looks so pretty everyone. I'm going to show you really close to what I got. I have some whites right here. I'm going to continue doing sprinkle one more time before I cure it so now if you're happy with this and we are going to cure this guys for 60 seconds let me show you this closer before I cure it great here for 60 seconds I am going to pull back my sugar rings extremely fine back into the jar lock this one the white one back in here too I freaking love this this is so I did several of them with um, oh I think I need the leads for this one do I I have the leads for this one uh, can you get me the leads for this one and I did this one before though. Oh. Let me clean this. move this one out of the way so then I can show you how it look you ready 60 seconds mm -hmm. you can do this background as a pink or green blue yellow however you would like it I just have happened that is light Pink. and I put from a clear like a white uh, extremely fine sugaring to the pink hot pink sugaring so in my end it looks so stunning ombre look hope you like it with the two nails it's really cool and details for the springtime Let's move into our 
uh, decoration I'm gonna use this one using a uh, fusion ink first I'm gonna do a matte top coat and let's do some matte top coat everyone here for 60 seconds And then I'm going to use the pink, just one color. I will go back in to share with you how I do is just one color fusion ink. Um, can I get the black uh, gel painting? This only I need if you are working on the marble ink nails and then if you have a lot of um, troubleshooting like why is your marble ink is keep bleeding and it doesn't every time you're touching a solutions or alcohol acetone it's just like it's just bleeding it out so I will share with you how you can do that really easy and probably we can put uh, some of our springtime here stickers i have it all prepared over here it's so much fun right now that we can do with um oh this is the cute flowers okay let's see what we can get with this um and this is the kind of a really is a strong background but it's okay because the uh, fusioning is really pigmented so I am going to apply like more than just one coat you can do it so many coat if you want to I would do like three or four Let it set, it's still wet. Manifestation, love yes, thank you. Hi Stevie. Hello everyone, hope everyone have a great Friday. Great, let it set for a little bit. You can do more than just one color, you can do more than just one color. I'm just doing a passionate and I don't need even need any brushes at all fusion ink crystal clear is a perfect hi Josie it's a perfect um, solution hey Sanisha hey how are you Whitney you are so doing this okay so now I want to move this one so you can see it. So pick up my really I have I'm wiping up a lot off of the excess clear and I'm just using really just little minimum amount of crystal clear. Wipe it off. You can see that my um pink ones right there the residue of pink ones I don't want those back into my bottle because that is will make first if you're using a lot of solution I don't know what solution you do um, show us what you're using then if you have question we can always um, assist you with anything so I'm gonna wipe it off before I dip it back in You see how I create the veins is super easy, right? And then you can using the same thing. And so wherever you want your vein to be, you're gonna do it right on the side and work really gentle like basically I have really minimums of my 
solutions I don't using a lot because that will make it bleeding the color first of all and then by wiping off all that uh, residues before I dip my brush in back into crystal clear will help so much because I don't like contaminating the colors back into my bottle so every time I picked up the crystal clear to clean the veins it's give me a truly just like that so you don't bleeding like the color from the pink to like purples or uh, blue or some other colors you didn't expecting you know so good I just want a veins like that That's good. I want something that's just different this time. And let's do some of the blue veins. So then you want to see the veins with the gel painting or with the chamfer foil gels. If I have gel painting, that I have this gel painting in jet black. And then gel painting in go. Look at that, it's from the pink. Crystal clear works nice. Thank you so much, Whitney. Okay, let me do the gel painting in jet black. And I'm gonna using in uh, gel painting in golden touch. really pigmented and leave the leads right here just for your preference okay so this is air dry you don't have to do anything at all black gel okay great my tweeted brush foxy loxy hey how are you now by J jay-z hello how are you thanks so much for tuning in if you're first time tuning in with glitz accessories and such welcome to our live tutorial so i'm going to give it a little bit Just make it like a dimension for the gold that we're gonna add it on later. How everyone doing? Are you hanging there tight? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's so excited to see everyone. It's nice to see everyone to tuning in. So I know that everyone doing great and um, I'm just like really loosen up my paint thing. Just like if you using it just like really feather touch. I think I'm good with that because we don't want to do it too much and we take it away from the nice of here for 60 seconds. Thank you, Dejo Ditches. Here for 60 seconds. Close that jet black. I'm gonna clean this. Here's a question for a lot of you who are asking how I clean. Can I get this one? <coughs> My brush. Up first, you're gonna wipe out this first from the piece of um, paper. And using a no wipe top coat, 
little just little drop and you're gonna just swirl your brush so then you see that it was dissolving is all the colors off from brush from a black is just release it and now you need to do is just wipe it off and cap on do not use acetone or alcohol as it's gonna ruin your brush really fast and dry your bristle out so I am going to using the goldens right there this golden painting you close this one Just add a little bit of your gold on the top. Just give it like a little bit of dimension. Just a little bit, okay, because I don't want to completely cover the black veins. I would give you a little bit of hint without a black. Could you be happy with this? Then now I am going to cure for another 60 seconds and we can do a top coat for this. The uh, Lailami acrylic brush what you need to do is after you clean you apply the liquid and powder you finish what you need to do is to dip in the monomers and remove all the excess acrylic that is might stick between your acrylic brush so you want to remove that first before you let your brush to set because otherwise all the acrylic, the uh, residues acrylics in there, it will stuck in your brush and then you probably have to soak in the acetone to remove and release them out. Then that's going to really damage your brush and probably if you soak in the acetone, your brush might not work anymore. Or it might will work but then it's not going to work 100% like it used to be because the brush is getting so damaged and dry by acetone. So make sure every time you uh, pick up the beads and you... Uh, before you pat them down you make sure you wipe all that the extra acrylics is still left on that brush so this is beautiful and I am going to using a no wipe top coat to finish but if you want to do this one in matte top coat you can also it's gonna look so pretty as well all right let gear this for about 60 seconds and this nail is completely done if you want to do some crystal placement you can't if not then I think it looks great 60 seconds everyone and that nails will be completely done so now let's get this stick on it this one I am gonna do for you I'm going to bling this one out completely. Um, did I drop this one? Bling this. I dropped the whole entire thing.
I'm going to I used to have a unicorn's nails for this one. <coughs> Final look for this beautiful nails. And we did this three nails already. So hope you really, really enjoying it. But we are going to do a last nail. It's gonna be fun and stunning. This is a glows in the dark design. So you want to see another crystal placement, but you want to do seeing a stickers on this one. This is really strong way to do stickers on it. Green. I have green and yellow. Let's see how it thinks it's gonna work out. That pink. Okay. Crystal <laughs> Foxy Luxy. Tequila, tequila sunrise <laughs> okay crystal condensed glue gel a lot of you were asking and we have so many of DM how can we keep crystal stay nice in place and what uh, tool do we using to apply the crystal so this is condensed glue gels if you're first time tuning into our live video thank you so much for stopping by and welcome to glitz accessory in such light tutorial so today we are um, going to do like a four nails as usual. Sometimes I do five nails, sometimes I do seven nails. Um, but we're doing it five, four nails today. And I am going to, oh, look at that everyone. <gasps> uh -huh. My little cute lace. Look at that cute lace. Oh, nice. Okay, I want to try that. I want to try that. I'm uh, using this and I'm cutting. Last time we did this pink. Great. This time's led to silver or go. Maybe go. Looks good. Mm -hmm. What do I have? I have that. Great, someone just trimmed it. So a uh, freaking thin, everyone. So easy to either encapsulating with condensed glue gels, or you can encapsulating with your liquid and powder. So I'm gonna pick this one up. using my tinted brush just pat it down really cool though and it's already staying there because I'm placing right on the top of condensed glue gels and I am going to trim it you can trim it later you can trim it first it doesn't affect anything at all and whatever I have left I will using my um, file and then just buff it off Okay, wait. Here for 60 seconds. It looks stunning though. I'm gonna put some crystal on it. Okay. Different. And if you want to add some of the uh, glitter, which is glitter that we did it yesterday, you want to add some of this on it. I think it looks good too. Like this one. I used it yesterday. So freaking stunning. 
Hi, Erin. How are you? <coughs> hey, money bags. How are you? Whitney. Would hold. Um, yes, it will. Is the condensed glue gel will hold that down. It's okay. We have a few minutes left for the Instagram. If you, if you, if if it going like, and we're gonna just like come right back. Mm, looks good. Not bad at all. Oh, really stunning. Okay, now condensed glue gels again. I would do a good layer on the top to cap this. I love this really thick condensed dense uh, glue gel. It will hold down a lot of even uh, encapsulating. This will be, I'm gonna gear it. I'm gonna cap this really nicely and then we're gonna buff that uh, extra on the edges off. Right. So no web top coat. If you keep watching me doing so many live and I keep using a condensed glue gel, no web top coat, precision glue. That is the three step methods to keep your crystal down in one place. Really like stay in the concrete, not going anywhere. Unless you really want to like take them off. And we also have the question, how can we take the crystal off? I'm going to show you. This is super freaking stunning though. Where my other colors is. Can I have that green? Can I have this green right here? Strong green right there. This is the green one. Uh, I do need the smaller size too, please. This time I'm gonna using my gold beads. I'm using that shape right here. Oh, hold on. I need it. Hey Instagram. Welcome back.
I really want to get the bars. Let me see. I have a smaller bar right there. Can Instagram see? Hello, Instagram. Welcome back. How everyone doing today just want to make sure we're checking on every single of you to make sure you are doing great Hold on, hopefully Facebook can see it. If you don't want any of this beads, it's going to be totally great and you'll be done. But if you want the beads to be on it, and this is really, it's up to you and the clients. I think one more bead in this one and I'll be good and dry the greens and don't worry about the extras on the sides with all the um, <coughs> yes that's you yeah. I'm gonna check it off the camera and adjusting it quick before I gear under the LED lamp. Looks really good. I think I check it and I just adjusting them looks really good. I'm gonna here under this LED lights for 60 seconds. Hold on to that. Okay. 
It's so quiet today. I feel like I'm so quiet though. Do you feel so? Maybe I too focus on what I'm doing. I was so focused though, everyone. It feel like it's our focus or just my other point of view here. It's much better. I'm putting on the size up. I did it, skills again. I did. Okay, now it's spilling on me. Not worry about clean it later. We did this three now, it's really stunning. That is really stunning, it's cute. So just ignore this, we're gonna shape it. It's actually it's really nice and secure now. And we're gonna shape that on the side for a little bit. Precision glue, everyone. This is gonna be one of really a good keys right here to keep all your crystals stay nice in one place. Look at that really beautiful frame, the bars right here. We like it to be in here, but sometimes it's catching on the client's hair and their clothes. So I want to make sure I'm going to seal them completely. This will be a double secure. A lot of you was asking and even the clients were like, I love to have the crystal placements on but then it keep catching on my hair so I don't know if it's gonna last with this precision glue you can sit back and ensure that it will stay nicely and it will seal completely all the gap cracks edges um, and a gap between crystals it's kind of a double secure. The condensed glue gel is already really good and secure. Now you even get it really, really super secure. I'm using a twin tip brush and a line brush to really blend all that excess glue gels, precision glue gel to make sure they all stay nice and um, flawless. Not to completely clear that I'm just using a file and the buff on the side and remove all of this extra one off. Make sure you close the cap, the red cap. You don't want to accidentally spill it. And for all of you who just tuning in, the other side you can use it to apply any smaller crystal, which is like SS3, SS4. It's come really nice and handy. And or even you're using it to apply some of your beads, like metal beads, metallic beads. It's really handy as well. It's really good today. Yaris, hello, Diva. Thank you so much, sweetie. We did the three nails earlier, and you can re watching them after the live video. And this one we did really stunning with weaver strips, which that's what I used. Weaver strip, it comes with the gold, it's uh, gold, silver, and white. Ah, gold, silver, and rose gold. I'm sorry. Next of them will come with the white pack and the black pack. I'm gonna using the file. And <coughs> excuse me, it's already done. I'm gonna clean it right on the side. They're so fine, so just buff on the side and just come right off.
that's it. Really nice. Which one is your favorite though? You can re-watching them on our Instagram. Also, you can re-watching them on our Facebook channels at uh, Glitz Accessory and Such or it's Beauty Forever with Nancy. It will link you right there. Thanks so much, money back. Nurse Laurie, she said you help us new tech so much. You are very yeah. welcome, my pleasures. I hope I can really um, share something that you are looking for or you already have a new idea of doing it you can add it on on your um, you know like uh, how I saying is more techniques on more tip and tricks um, oh I love them all diva me too um, let's see if I have any question do you have any question for me today Yes, money back those you can watch them on over uh, Facebook. Uh, Instagram lasts 24 hours, Facebook lasts forever. And um, they are all divine. Thank you so much. They are really stunning. It's totally different. This one with the weaver uh, strip, and then this one's with the four, uh, with the painting gels and uh, sugar rings I using this two sugar ring and also this one is fusioning and I using a, that passionate on the yellows background so it's sunning it's turn out and this one I using kind of um lace string. the mess the strings golden string is really nice it's so freaking thin it feel like nothing so it can encapsulate with liquid can powder I'm holding in my hand so many colors. Like this is gold. This one that look like a copper. This one is pink. I did this last uh few times before. Silver. And this one is another hot pink. And then this one is the gold and silver, which is I just uh I using the other one, the gold and silver. And this one is kind of a obsidian. This one will look stunning on the matte. Uh, I'm sorry, on the nude colors. You can see it on my top of my um, skin tone. This one is looks. That looks good in the nude colors. So there's like eight of them for you to choose from. That's pink one. I know the pink one is stunning. So. You are very welcome, Foxy Loxy. Whitney, Sugaring. Thank you so much, ladies. Hello, everyone. Um, totally mango and chili vibes. You are absolutely right, Dazzle Ditches. Um, all right. So if you have any further questions and any designs that you would like to see for next live video, which is I still see you tomorrow, Saturday. We just up only on Sunday and then we doing live video on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Also, ladies, don't forget to enter to win a giveaway for 30,000 followers giveaway. The prize is going up to over a thousand dollars for the winner. So please go into the original post if you haven't get chance to enter yet. And there's still time for us to enter. Make sure you follow all the steps that it was um, for the rule to place with the giveaway. Don't forget to enter it in. And also, um, if you have any questions for regarding to the products, any new, a lot of cool new stickers is so stunning. Um, with butterflies and a lot of designers, stunning, super easy. I did some live video last time. And this is super cute. I'm gonna show you probably tomorrow. We're gonna do kind of um, uh, we can do 
the uh, milk bath nail with this flowers instead of using our real dry flowers super freaking cute um butterfly stickers and another chamfer and here's super cute themes of unicorns i used that once already and flowers and golden's uh designer silver another flowers more flowers more designers this is great this is for all of you who is you know can able to using for easters um butterflies again butterflies unicorns look at that we did this stunning set uh, on a live video the other day and you can view it again and this is um another butterflies and to have dragonflies ladybugs and it is uh bees right there look at this stunning this one it doesn't have to be like completely like bunny it can be all fun things it's all bunnies chicks we just have a limit of um the um stickers for seasonal so it's so stunning because it's so trendy i'm so obsessed with it look it's just so cute we did we didn't do this one but we did this one we did this cute one she's super cute bunnies like she like this she's so adorable Look at that dragon scale. Oh, that dragon? Dragonfly? Does it look like a dragonfly? Yeah, oh, here she is. She's had little bows. Is she, I don't know, she got a bows. She might have a bow or she might have butterflies on her. But anyway, we did this one too. We did the bunny ears. It's just a chubby's uh, bunny. That's what Brad told us like yesterday. So cute. This is Easter eggs. Easter egg bunnies and easter eggs carols flowers and then easter eggs hunting i guess flowers they're so adorable We're only selecting is really good quality and it's super easy for you to use it for any of you are interested in um want to do some more fun nails like you know if some of you i can't you know get back to work right before easter or something that you like in here with different themes that you can do all year round um, feel free to look at them and the butterflies is so stunning as always I can't wait to do more with this designs as well on the next few videos so definitely then see we'll use one day for night like a night what do you guys ping deer what ping deer Okay, hold on. Do I miss something? <laughs> Life Ross, I, I'm sorry I miss it. What did we do, Ping Deer? Hold, hold on, okay? Let me see which one did you request, though. I might miss your, though. Do you mean this one? This pink one? Are you talking about this one? Is that right? I don't know why I don't have pink gear though. Is it pink for spring though? Looks so stunning. Is that you mean this one? This one? You want this? Okay, let's pull four of them out. So then we do it for tomorrow. Okay, now ladies, you we vote. Jesus, right there. And then do you want this pink deer? Okay, let's do this pink deer feet on the nails okay for spring and then what um diva want this one two of them okay which one do you want flowers this one can do smoky inks let's see which ones we need to pick four of them this one have a flowers butterflies we can do flowers on this one This one will look stunning. This one can do a milk bath nails for springtime. Or you can use this for the milk bath nails. It's gonna be so either one. It's gonna be really stunning. I can't I ain't using this one for the milk bath nails. This unicorn. Too. 
what else do we using for this i'm gonna take a note so then we can do it fun tomorrow for a saturday i'm so excited thank you so much everyone for a great live tutorial tonight you know i won't be have much fun if you're not enjoying it because this is the live tutorial for all of us to learn i get to learn so much from all of you ladies and we are like inspire each other's and also in our team we have sarah uh also vicky jensen sarah um destroys so if she's going under nail by sarah sarah destroys and uh destroys uh that i don't know that's on face sarah is that you on facebook or instagram she's on both facebook and instagram and her page will be nail by sarah and then on instagram is is um is nailed by Sarah Detroit and uh, Brad Holden he's come up with some really cool stunning design as well and Vicky Jensen so please stay tuned and so we can um, share with you a lot of different designs and also Sarah was sharing in earlier using when you um, get even any products you were curious about and you really want to try it's a great time is 25% off for special spring sales anniversary sales and 5% total sale will go direct to WHO which is World Health Organization to help fight coronavirus so if you have any questions regarding to the order you can use cell code from sarah would share earlier is s a r a s to receive seven to receive the free shipping when you order 79.99 uh in us uh for free shipping and uh also if you have any question regarding to techniques products orders you can uh Email us at info at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com or you can always texting us if you are in state at 206-771-5086 if you need any assistance. So any uh, question regarding to classes coming up, you can also email us at info at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com. Thank you so much, everyone. And we're definitely going to see you tomorrow. Make sure you take good care of yourself and your family. And I will see you right tomorrow. Good night, lady. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Is The price go over $1,000 of all the products, worth of the products. Thank you, ladies. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.